Hey everybody, Allison here, and in today's video, I want to talk about Google. So for those of you who don't know me, welcome. I am the Director of Risk Tolerance here at Simpler Trading, and I do do something that I call the $500 Challenge, where I start an account with $500 each month and see how much I can grow it while teaching people about risk and capital risk so that they can be mindful, right? And the idea is to split that $500 across multiple trades and try and get it to grow by the end of the month, like I mentioned. Um, and so for those of you who know me from that, right, who might follow that with me on Twitter at Allison underscore trades or on Twitch at Allison trades, um, then Google might look familiar to you because it was a trade I did try to set up in a little bit earlier this month. And unfortunately, I just either needed a slightly higher strike or I needed a little bit more time on the trade. However, the setup is working out quite nicely and I still think there's room to go, which is why I wanted to highlight it in today's video. So on the daily chart for Google, as you can see, we've been in an overall bearish trend. And whenever you're in a bearish trend below the 100 period simple and the underlying price tries to break it and fails, you always want to pay attention to if the price comes back to test that range. And if it does and it cannot even break and hold above it, that is usually your chance if you missed the first short entry when it initially broke, that's usually your chance to get in before it sells back off. It's kind of like a trap moment for the bulls as they try to get above the 100, but if they can't even do it, it's usually the time to then short. And as you can see here, it tried and then it started to fail. And so I knew because we had broken all the technicals there above us, the Bollinger Bands were flaring open and there is a weekly squeeze setting up, it looked good for this to continue lower overall. So I tried to give it a little bit of time. I got into the 101 strike because it was a relatively small risk for the $500 challenge. And I looked to play this lower and unfortunately, we barely started to touch 101 by last week. It had this little bounce up here, a little bit stronger than I was anticipating. So it kind of, you know, cut the move lower a little bit short by the time frame that I was looking for. But as you can see going into today, we are now well below that 101 level. However, the reason why I still like this is for a few different facts, both off the daily and weekly chart. On the daily chart, we actually made a nice bearish divergent bar today. So a bearish divergent bar and an overall bearish trend means you might get a lower low within the next few bars. So you can see it happened there, right? That was a short term lower low. Sometimes you get a more dramatic move to the downside off that like here or here. So that certainly doesn't look bad. There's also room on momentum to continue lower, a bearish signal in the compound breakout tool and Bollinger Bands flaring open. So all of that looks good to continue. And we're of course breaking below 100 as a psychological level. But the reason why I still really like this is more off the weekly chart because the weekly chart still has a lot of room on momentum, has a great bearish signal on the compound breakout tool. It has a squeeze. And when we look here, right? So the squeeze makes this great because that means it still has energy to keep this going to the downside if that's how it's starting to fire. And when we zoom in here, we can see the trend is turning bearish. The 10 and the 30 have crossed below the 100. The Bollinger Bands are flaring open. Last week, we actually made a bearish divergent bar. So for those of you who got in at the close of last week or maybe early this week, right, you might have gotten a discount, but that's already started to follow through with the lower low, obviously. But I think it could keep going. Um, but all of this looks great, right? It looks like it's rolling into a bearish trend on the weekly chart. And we have a squeeze and room on momentum to tell us that that move can continue and we're breaking the $100 price level. So if we can hold below 100 tomorrow, I think short term, this looks good to roll down. And I say short term based off the weekly chart, right? I think this looks good to make its way down towards 90. That was kind of a price cluster back here that we could test as a potential support level. Otherwise though, our next big technical support level if things really start to sell is the monthly chart. And that's all the way down at its 100 period simple at $64. Bollinger Bands aren't flaring open yet. So we want to be mindful and Bollinger Bands are around 90 as well, right? 92.89. Um, so a conservative target to start working our way off that weekly squeeze and for the continuation of this daily trend, I think would be to do something like this. The, no 
you can give yourself as much time as you want. You can bring it in closer. But November gives you quite a bit of time. The 9590 strikes is only a dollar fifty at this point, $1.49, 350 profit potential. So excellent risk versus reward. And it gives you plenty of time to try and see that move down to that price cluster of 90 and to work off of that weekly squeeze. So just something to consider. And of course, once again, the thing to take away from this video is this pattern here. If you see something that has try has that has been trending below the hundred this year that has broken above it and then fails it, look to see if it retests. And if it retests and can't break again, that might be a good place to then look to short back down, either just you know, into a technical or the prior lows, if not for that trend itself. So thank you so much for joining me in this video. As always, may the trade be with you, my fellow Jedis, and I look forward to talking to you next time. Bye. Hey, Allison Ostrander here, Director of Risk Tolerance at Simpler Trading. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like and comment down below to help us out. Also, be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you can get notified when we release our next video. And if you want to watch us trade in real time using our own money, go to simplertrading.com to learn how to sign up. As always, may the trade be with you, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.